Hi, this is Grade 10 CAT. Today we are doing Module 2.2 Network Basics. So first of all, looking at a PAN. A PAN is, stands for a Personal Area Network and it's when just you, by yourself, network two or three of your devices. You link up, say, your phone with your laptop or your tablet and that is called a PAN. So it's a network organized around an individual or a couple of individuals with a range of a few meters. The disadvantages are that it's got a limited range. If you move the phone more than about 10 meters away from the laptop, it's probably going to disconnect. The data transmission can be slower because you're using Bluetooth. And the peripheral devices, which could be like a printer, usually only pairs with one computing device at a time. Next, we've got a HAN, which stands for Home Area Network. Here I've got a picture of a typical HAN, and you can see it's got a lot more devices connected. You can even have household devices, smart home devices connected into your HAN. So the advantages are that you can access and share data from any computing device in the home. You can also share, save money by sharing devices like a printer. So everybody in the house can use one printer and connect to it. And then the internet can be shared by all the computing devices in the home. The only problem is that security can be an issue with wireless networks because it's possible to tap in if you've got a clever device and to listen in on what is being transmitted between the devices. So it is suggested that you use passwords, etc., to correct this problem. So let's talk about what you need to connect a network. You are going to need computing devices. That is a desktop device or an iPhone, maybe a laptop and so on. Then you are going to need the devices that allow you to connect these things to each other. Things like a router um, or a modem. And then we need the media. That would be the um, wires that are connecting the devices, but it can also be wireless. You'll need software. And then these days, everybody needs the internet. So your computing devices, these can be desktop computers, laptops, iPads, smartphones, smart home devices, cameras, printers. Your connection devices, let's talk about these. There are three different types, a switch, connects computers with cables and you can see the little um, connectors or slots at the back of the device where you can plug in the UTP cables. Next comes a router that allows the devices to connect to the internet and then you have a wireless access point and you've seen these um, sort of flying saucer looking like devices which are often connect, um, put up in the ceiling and that allows devices to connect to the network by Wi-Fi. And most routers today include a built-in switch so the two black boxes here would be combined into one device and we'd either call it a router or a switch and it gets a bit confusing but please be clear as to what the function of the router is. It's for connecting to the internet, whereas a switch connects the devices to each other. The media, we can have wireless media or cables. So every computer to be able to connect to the, internet, to the network needs something called a NIC. It stands for Network Interface Controller. Then other some devices can connect by Bluetooth, the small little home devices, home um, smart home devices usually connect by Bluetooth. In a pan, 
Bluetooth is also the most common means of connecting devices, and in a HAN, we use both wireless and wired connection methods. So this is what a NIC looks like. There's the symbol for Bluetooth, and that is the symbol for Wi-Fi. So let's look at connection methods some more. So we have a wired connection, and it's usually UTP, um, which is unshielded twisted pair. And it's a cable. It might run between the desktop PC and the wireless router, for example. So one end would plug into the NIC, which is in the computer, and the other end would plug into the switch or router. For a wireless connection, you need a wireless access point, and usually that is also built into the router. And you need the devices. They need to be wireless enabled, and they use radio waves for connectivity. Wi-Fi is means wireless network technology that uses radio waves to provide network access in a small area. Next, we need software. Oops, no, not that sort of software. We need something like, if you've got a small network, Windows will do, because it's got um, incorporated into Windows, you've got networking capabilities. And the software is used to control security and communication in the network. It is built into the operating system software of the computing device. That's what we talk about when we say we're using Windows um, to connect computers. But if you have more than 10 computers in your network, you are going to need a fancier type of um, networking software. Next, we need the Internet. Remember, it's a large worldwide computer network consists of billions of computers and networks linked together and every device on the internet has its own IP address that means internet protocol address to connect to the internet you need an internet service provider and you need an internet connection so what is an internet service provider it's just a company and they have bought or they are pay rental for a permanent fast connection to the internet so they are connected to the internet and then they sell you a rental so that you can then tap into their connection and you can be connected to the internet via them so they provide the service of giving you an internet connection and you usually pay a monthly fee for this. And here are some examples. Um, in South Africa, we have many ISPs, some better than others. And these are some of those you could use. So the types of internet connections, you could have a wired connection, you could have ADSL, which is actually going out of um, service very quickly and being replaced by fiber. ADSL is a permanent digital connection using a telephone line. In fiber, the data is transmitted using thin glass fiber tubes and it's much, much faster. You could also be connected to the internet wirelessly via cellular technology. This is the same technology that works in your phone when you connect via data. So in this instance, you do not need ADSL or fiber. You do not need a physical connection. Um, a wireless connection allows mobile access. It will be called 3G, 4G, and we are even going into 5G. You get a dongle, which is just a little device. It looks a little bit like a flash drive. You plug it into your USB port and it connects your device to the cellular network. So remember to revise all of the concepts, terms, and terms that we have used today. Look these up in the book at the end of the chapter. And thanks for listening today.